Let's look at three ways to add numbers in my company sales spreadsheet. Perhaps the easiest way is to select a set of numbers in rows or columns and look for the sum of those numbers down here on the status bar. Another way to add numbers in multiple rows or columns is to use Auto Sum on the Home tab. I need to add the product sales from each quarter to find out the total sales for the year. That way I can see which item is our best seller. I select the first empty cells to the right of my rows of data. I click Auto Sum. Don't worry if you get a column of hashtag symbols. That just means that your column is too narrow for your set of numbers. Double click the right border of your column to expand the width, and the sales numbers will appear. I'll add a title to this new column. I can do the same thing to get my quarterly totals. I select the first empty cells below each of my columns and click Auto Sum. And I'll add a title to this new row of numbers. The nice thing about Auto Sum is it recalculates if you change numbers. I have to correct this number. And when I do, both the yearly total and the quarterly total update automatically. No need to fuss with formulas to recalculate. AutoSum works best when you're working with only sequential numbers, no blank cells or text. If you need to add rows or columns containing blank or text cells, create a formula with the sum function. A sum function can add numbers, whether the cells are in a sequence or range, or just a bunch of individual unconnected cells. I want to add these numbers, plus the number in this cell. In an empty cell, I type the equal sign, sum, and an opening parenthesis. Then I select this cell and drag my selection to this cell. To add to this formula, I type a comma, select the other cell, and then type a closing parenthesis. The sum function adds all the numbers in the range of cells and the individual cell I selected. And just like AutoSum, if any of the cells change, the sum function updates automatically. Now you've got top tips for working in Excel web app. Of course, 